show where the message is education for positive growth. You can catch them on your radio or even TV. Even food for thought just to catch you hungry. Shout out to all my kings and queens. Now give it up to the Snap Judgment team. Who we be? I said, who we be? Snap, 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 judge. Who we be? Snap, 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 snap. Yes. All right, all right, all right. Well, welcome here on Applying Pressure. I am your lady being beautiful, me, Andreetta. And I'm your host, man. You already know what it is. Smack. Okay. We hey. need to work on his, his facts. Um, facts. You know, Granny Prince, we're on this. Hey. Happy Juneteenth. And for one thing, happy Father's Day to all the men. Out there who are being yes, fathers. Yes, happy Father's Day, happy everyone. Father's Day. For those that are actually being them good daddies and everything, and I like to tell you, I forgot what day it was. Yes, if, if I, but you know, it's because, cool because you your know woman, why I say that? I bet you she know when Mother's Day is. Facts. You, you know Next what? Question. That's <laughs> not a fact. Don't you? See, he wants, he's trying, he's trying to create TV, guys. Listen, I go? literally, though, it's like with me with Valentine's Day. I literally, I walked into Whole Foods, right? Now, there's a bunch of beautiful, you know, they have beautiful flowers. Yeah. I mean, they last, yeah, they okay? Yeah, they do. And um, yeah, I walked in, and I'm like, oh, wow, the beautiful flowers, but why so many right here? Right? I was like that. Now, yes, I was. I walked in, and I literally was like, why is there so many? Oh, wow, what's the occasion? What's happening? Because, you know, they only do it for a certain, but I... I forgot it was Valentine's coming up. Now, I think it was a Friday or Saturday, so, of course, whatever it was, Valentine's Day, it was that Sunday. And I'm like, what? Oh, okay. Now, see, I guess because, see, I don't have a man. Mm. (laughs) And... uh, (laughs) And, Message, and and, <laughs> and, 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 and and then because with Father's Day, I literally because I'm working and so on, and Father's Day did sh- come up again. I remember we talked about it again. You talked about I, that. And then g- getting close to the day, I again I forgot. I yeah. would yeah. I would have had a gift for you. No, no, this is what I'm saying. I didn't. Do. I no. yes. I I I would have. I would. I, would, I wanted to give him something in front of all of you so what happened was yeah I forgot <laughs> well I definitely <laughs> definitely want to give a shout out to all the men out there yes and, um I, I always say this for Mother's Day or Father's Day you know every day is Mother's Day or every Father's day, day if yeah. you're a full time parent <laughs> So we shouldn't just get one day, but this is a day to recognize the men out there who are really out there putting forth the effort for their children and plus their family. So um, I definitely want to give out uh, a shout out to the Summer Breeze Showcase that mm-hmm. I just woo, just came from in North Carolina. Yeah, yeah. It was great. Um, I want to give out, like I said, a shout out to people who really came out there, and this is for... The people out there who don't understand that it's not where you come from, it's like where you at. And for one thing, mm-hmm. be consistent of what you do. We out here trying to build um, memories instead of excuses, especially when it comes to our men. We have to understand that our we are here, we are built here for protection. Yes. We're here for security. We're here sometimes for finance. Instead of you impressing your friends or the next person, impress your family. Build a family. Mm-hmm. Because for men, when you build a family, you're building a community. Yes, you are. When you build a community, you build a city. Yes, you When you are. build that city, you build a state. Yes. And when you build that state, you build the world. Yes. This is how we change for our men. Yes. Acting like men. Yes. We said on last week's show, uh-huh. we know the difference between friends who's going to be in your life forever, for a lifetime. No. Yeah, oh, for have, season. have a season. Season, a, reason, and lifetime. Yes. Reason, season, lifetime. Yes. Mm-hmm. But your family's forever. Yes, they are. They're more important than your friends who you out there trying to impress. And your family does not have to be blood related. They your don't have to be blood related. be someone... No, you you ain't asked to be in a family that you're in. You no, were just born no, into someone it. Someone was born, born into families. We wish we was We not. wish we was <laughs> in that family. But I definitely want to give a shout out to um, Pebble Spearman, yes. Sherrod Janice Jones, mm-hmm. Victoria Marble, mm-hmm. DJ Slice, and Tamika Robinson mm-hmm. for the Summer Breeze Showcase. I, 
Yes, indeed. I see that I'm rocking their gear, rocking their shirts, coming fresh. Yes, yes Definitely want to give a shout to DJ NV. <laughs> Anybody want those entrepreneurs who run from business to business, who take charter planes, and you out here making sure that the community is still running right is because you're running business? Yes, indeed. I'm tired, but okay. I'm here. I didn't catch and the I show. Say, and I'm glad to know that, no, I'm very happy to know that you're here with us yes, today, okay? Of course, without. Now, i also like to give a shout out to DTNV um, Network, where we are a journey to fabulous, it's a reality show that okay. is coming up. And they're going to be, you know, they will be here filming, okay? Ooh, okay. And um, later on, when it's my turn. <laughs> When it's my turn to film me, okay, um, I'm just, I want to give a shout out to them. It's Sh um, Shamiar, um, yes, yes, yes. Shamiar Span, yes. and um, to uh, Miki, okay. Uh, so um, I just want to give a shout out to all of those, um, to those ladies right now who are the producers of the show. So guys, um, that's what we've been doing this past week. I've been, um, that's what I want to talk to you about. And we're going to talk on that. <laughs> and, and I definitely, um, when I went out to the showcase, there's a lot of stars out there in North Carolina where they celebrities? don't. Celebrities? Mm -hmm. Celebrities. I'm going to call them celebrities. Because mm -hmm. right now you might, you, you're a celebrity. It's because people in your neighborhood and your community love what you're doing. So you're a celebrity mm -hmm. small. Mm -hmm. Might not be a celebrity that you want to be, but these people loved you. And I've seen the atmosphere mm -hmm. that when it was there. So yes. I'm going to give a shout out to Shalita Rayner. Yes. Um, Baby Jit. Mm -hmm. Um, Anita B. Jackson, Vito Saray, Sar he's from, um, um, Savannah. Okay. Uh, Savannah. Savannah. Or Augusta. Okay. Georgia, he close, because he said I'm from ATL. Wow. Kevin Thompson, <laughs> No Bangs, and Melanie with the Madness. Love y'all. Y'all put on a great performance. Thank you for coming out. It was hot out there. We lasted. We enjoyed ourselves. Oh, when I say he. Let me speak of the heat. Oh. Let me tell you, while we were filming, the rain decided to come down, or whatever you want to call it, then it stopped. Sprinkles. It helped. No, it helped a <laughs> lot. And why is my car looking like it was under a, sitting for months at a time? <laughs> under the, uh, I mean, it was crazy yes. looking. I didn't know what it was. But anyway, the heat, I tell you, no matter what you did, if you just wanted to crack the window open, honey, no, you need to close that back up yes, to yes. let that. But today is so much better. It's not as humid as the last couple of days. I, no, that wasn't humid. That was what you call that? that was dry heat. It was not. It was no, honey. I'm gonna tell you. No. How, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you how hot it was. I want to give a shout out to to DHL, FedEx, UPS. Yeah. Anybody who delivers packages Amazon. in this heat, Amazon. <laughs> while y'all people are out there touching your fingers in the cold in the in the air condition. Got your money, mm -hmm. got your drinks, feeling mm -hmm. good. I'm going to tell y'all something. Mm -hmm. Please go out to the store, get a bottle of water and some ice and no, place them, it on them. Please I give seen, them a re. Yeah, I it's seen, hot out there. I seen a customer do that for Amazon or whoever it was, one of the yes. carriers. And you, they left, um, um, it was a cooler of water, bottled waters um, in the um, the, jug in the, front, jug. the front door. So as she would say, take one take or one. whatever as much as you can. And they and, and the fact is that, that that customer did that, that was a beautiful thing. And it was appreciated. And the reason why I say say that because me dealing with I do deal with FedEx yes you do I have a lot of customers who do that I can say their houses numbers but because I know their houses <laughs> I ain't gonna say that but right. there's certain houses I look and when I see their packages yes I know that they're gonna have snacks mm. and a drink for us mm. those are one who appreciate the work and things that we do while you are out there because you home ordering <laughs> hey we can take your package <laughs> like, I don't want to do this today I'm too hot <laughs> <Man, please. laughs> We see that happen. You know how many times I've seen the devil have his stomach because he want to ride because it's so hot out there? But you better give us a drink out there, yo. I'm telling y'all, man. Y'all better get up there, I guess they probably started doing that because they see how some of these workers are unappreciated. They're unappreciated, but underpaid. It's like underpaid. Going, and, and, and underappreciated, it's, yes. It's a great paying job, but when it's it hot, is. Yeah. it is hot. Hot you, and all call, honey. Dude, it's either one. And think about it. You are just one package. Uh, a delivery package averaged between 60 to almost 200 routes or packages a day. So think about it. You just one package, and he probably got 160 more. Help he or she. Give him some water or give him some snacks to make sure you feel appreciation. That's my appreciation to all the carriers out there in the world. Please stay hydrated. God bless you all. Please, um, and make sure, I, I'm, since we talk about hydration, I'm simply, we've, look. 
I want to go ahead and give a warning to everybody, okay? Message. Just because you are drinking water and all water is not the same. It's Correct. not equal. Correct. You have um, pH levels for those that don't know. And for those that do know, well, please let the people that don't know. And I'm letting for those that don't do know, know. That don't know, okay? That is, it starts at a 7. Your water from your tap is already 7. Maybe. Maybe. And my, mind you, there's chlorine and all kinds of stuff that you can't see with the naked eye. Now, you, um, you want to get water that starts you know, at an 8, you yes. know, 8.0. 8 then you definitely at a 9.0. That's wonderful. Now, 10 will be great, okay? Now, where do you find those? You have certain waters like Essential is a good bottle yes, water. Is. Yes. It, it, it is a good bottle water, I have to say. It, it is. Um, another one, Acaline, but it's 8.8, .8, I think it is. It's called Acaline. So I don't remember the name, but anyway, that's a nice tasting water. And Whole Foods have their 365 water, which actually it tastes tastes very well yes. too. Goes down very nicely. But I also say Kangen water, Kangen water basically is a, a filtration system that you need at home. Yes. It's, it's, it costs, yes, and I'm sure they have app payment plans too. They do. It works though. It works. Now, if you find that you, you drink water and you wiggle a little bit and you hear it and you feel it, that water wasn't for it. It's not Ooh, for you. It's not good. good. That's, it's, that's it, good it's supposed to literally go down and literally hydrate the rest so of you your drink, body. About five minutes, you probably want to go to the bathroom if you drink that much water. Well, the Correct. thing is, no, no. Okay. What I'm saying depends on each person. Then let me. I'm gonna tell you my experience. I have been told for the past year. Are you drinking enough water? I'm so occupied, busy. No, no I'm going to say busy because I'm, I'm, I'm productive, okay? Yes. That my chiropractor he kept, kept asking me, because you can tell by when you're touching a person yes. that they're dehydrated. Yeah. And she kept asking me, because she said, I, you always have water. I have been so productive that I haven't been productive with my own care. Okay, mm -hmm. let me say that. The thing is, um, I had to drink so much water. You, you can drink, I don't care how much water you drink, but it's what water you're drinking. How much water you drink? I, I it's what you're drinking. I take a gallon of water with me. You have to have a gallon a day. Have and people to. that have, have depending have on to. your weight, it might be a, ga it might be a gallon and a, and a half. It depends. So you have to go by your weight. Yes. Okay, now again, that's why I say again, you have to pay attention to what water you're drinking, but add some, some Himalayan salt in there. That will help, okay? Himalayan salt will hydrate you, all right, with the water. Trust me, you'll be fine. If you're drinking everything else out that tap, you'll be fine with that. You will. Make sure you go to get some Empower water. It's fine about Snap Judge, and we got it. And we're going to go water. there, too. That's good. That's Say that again, because they didn't hit. Oh, the Empowered Culture Water. Empowered Cultured water. Yes. It well, is. What, thirst, was it, what was it? Eight point. Alkaline, it's eight point nine. Eight point nine. Right. So it's definitely good for you. I keep yes, gallon it that on it me. Does, it's good for you. It does. His water tastes good. Obey the good. thirst. Obey the That's thirst. That's T H U R S. Not your guys. thirst. The thirst. The thirst. Because if you don't know what the thirst is, as she's explained it to you, then you just drink it just to be drinking. So you have to drink to be drink when you whatever you put in your mouth. Be conscious about what is what doing you for you. Correct. Not because oh it tastes good. No, understand. It's what's good for you. Yes. I had to. I had to not only just just not drink water. This is how dehydrated I was. I had to take IVs. Yes. Oh. I had to take an IV at um, a place where you hydrate. So I had to put magnesium. It's magnesium that you need. Why magnesium? Yeah. Because it's for your joints, your muscles, your yes. heart. Because once you are dehydrated, what happens? What? 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 what which one is a muscle? Your heart. Your heart. Your digestive your heart. is, a, when I'm talking about your digestive, I'm talking about your colon, it is a muscle. So mind you, I was so dehydrated where that's where I, my, my uh, hamstrings, everything was drawing up. Was that's where a lot up. of athletes catch that because they're out there not drinking the right water. They're not yes. drinking the right potassium. And one doctor mentioned, he said that you have to have lots of magnesium. Gotcha. Gotcha. Magnesium, it could be, a, I, I'm taking the magnesium that's in a capsule where you can open it and it, you know, be powdered. So I had to just chalate it. So take the capsules, then bananas, the right water. Um, stretching. I literally 
And then, oh, spray some magnesium on your body as well. I had to literally do all of this well, to get do that. to say Because... Stay what? hydrated. Stay hot. No, not uh, when you say hydrated, but understand but, you but have you, it's much it's much deeper than that. Yeah, but that's let, let me do the research. You can you drink on. I, I want you to look up magnesium. Um, look up the uh, um, of course you know um, Kanye water. Of course, obey the thirst. You want to get his empowered water. Point, not just empowered, my water, but you want to get empowered water. cultured water. You want good water. Good so water. I just had to throw that in here exactly. because we are in this hot, hot, hot weather, and hot everyone water. wants to drink this damn soda or no that soda. Please. It was just stop drinking. <laughs> I'm telling you, I don't even like sodas. When I see somebody want a soda, it's like, oh, you, you know how much sugar is in that? Let me tell you, I be in that truck. It's so hot, I don't want to eat. You ever be <laughs> somewhere yeah. like, oh, I'm so hot, I don't want to eat? Have you ever been that before? That's how hot it is out here. So drink and drink oh, for your health. Oh, my gosh. We come on back. Man. Like we'll said, be back man. here. Please, we'll be back on this message, man. We're going to go into a... Great Father's Day video from my man Tito Montana from Ghetto. We out here, man. We love y'all, man. Happy Father's Day. Stay tuned. It go three, two, one. Ready or not, here they come with y'all with the races. Meanwhile, the other kids is in their favorite hiding places under cars next to trees. Back of fat Miss Louise, the grumpy lady up the block like Harlem Nights. Della Reese, this acts a please, she lets you slide. While your friends walk on by, talent show next week. They practice an electric slide. Nice sunny day, Johnny pump pump in the water. Low bad, from the block, taking the star art. I need a Pepsi, a pack of cigs, some chips for the other kids, some ices, cause I'm hot out. And you can keep the change of diggy hold off in the sprint to go retrieve the goodies right then i know this funny business on the corner thugs and hoodies your mom's so stupid that she thought my own dude was a mountain your mother's so dumb that she made up play me with dr pepper uh -huh. Backed out, that's rain the worst shoe. I seen Shorty hit the ground, clutching his tummy. As his life changed, the slug was too big, his little frame was too small. Similar to the scene with G Baby and Hardball and they To the other side, where shorty mother died. Drug addicted, needle hanging from her veins. The car and none closed her eyes. She must have seen enough for this place. The streets destroyed her family. To her daughter, she was a disgrace. Look at it this way. God secured a place for her in heaven. Took your mommy out of misery, hoping she could do better. She had potential to conquer the world. But since that day, with your brother, she needed to go to sniff the shoot that she earned. And since then, it hasn't been the same. Needed that rush to her brain. And at that point in time, the rush turned to pain. She couldn't help it. And Lord knows she meant you no harm She couldn't hug you cause the needles poke holes in her arms She really loved you, definition, strong affection, warm attachment But in your books she scores zero love like tennis matches Now you asking questions, trying to make your life complete And what you find out, you lost your family members to the streets and they Put her hands together, mashed them close and pray that she could go back to the times They all laughed and joked, chin in her palms The tears twinkled as she visioned her moms And memories of her brother shot dead in her arms She dealing with the most, they only died a few months apart Her big brother got plugged with a slug to his heart He pinched the nerves at the school, but still it on She missed him daily, hoped this bad ass returned from the dead Like Machiavelli, just a thought Of them days together, made her smile, tears of joy Covered her face, now she's the only child Mama gone, pops and prison and little girl defending herself And now she 14, them little boys is bad for her health Yo, is a father when you need one or a brother to protect you Asking God for all the answers in the hood The streets neglect you when they
Well, welcome back welcome here back. to Applying Pressure. I'm your lady being beautiful, me, Andreetta. And I'm your host, Snap. Yes, in indeed. The yes, indeed. So we are here today again, because like we were talking about hydration, how important it is that my body just draw it up. I promise you, yes. you don't want to wait until you are in that. Uh, no, that moment when it's too late. Oh, please. And and I promise you, I was feeling it. I mean, talking about my heart. I'm talking about my. It was. It was too much. And this is all recent. And I literally had to sit in Epsom salt. I had to spray down with magnesium. I had to take two tablets of magnesium. I had to... It worked. Let me just say that. Well, I definitely want to give a shout out to Cos Barsdale. Yes. Hashtag check kit. Mm -hmm. While we was out there performing in that heat because it was outside, they made sure that we was... You know, we had water. Because it was hot. And me and um, my oh, man Lord. Sherrod Genius Jones... You know, they was like, oh, you're keeping it. But at the end of that night, I felt it. Like, literally, <laughs> I, I felt I it. I felt like I was in Summer Jam. That's my first big, you know, big event. And I definitely want to give a shout out to, like I said, the Summer Breeze Showcase family. Thank y'all for having me. It was a blessing. It was an honor. We got a little great. You, you appreciate that. And we definitely, great. maybe we had the, the rides, the pony rides, the horse rides. You know, the face painting and now stuff you wanna, like that. Uh, yeah, you but you want to stay hydrated. But please. You, you, you and um, um, your daughter, you know, oh, you that know, was on your, what you call them, the camera. Oh, we was on the camera. You know but you, you know, we need to bring that over here. Yeah, we're going to bring <laughs> out 360 out here to the, to the applying pressure. I mean, one thing I learned about life is enjoy it. Yes, indeed. Enjoy life it. is about, to me, you're exploring and creating memories, not excuses. So when you're out here, if you got more memories and excuses, you are doing your thing. Yes, when you're creating memories for yourself, you are also helping other people to acknowledge on what you're doing. Uh -huh. Some people call it hate when they fall back. No, they're just not on the level that you are. You keep climbing on what you're doing and what you're pursuing. And um, that doesn't mean, you know, that you I mean, fail. Look, you no, no, and yeah, and, and the thing is, when you have somebody that is hating or you, they, they not on the same level. They not on the same level. You just because have to you're keep on pushing. A, you're on a different level. You now. have to keep moving. You and, got to. You know, I mean, you know, don't be mad at them. They're just where they are. They just yes. leaves. My daughter gave me a shirt, <laughs> and she gave me the best quote, and it was on the back of the shirt. If I don't know if nobody's seen it from a Father's Day. And she said, when the world of the weight is wearing you down, mm -hmm. rest if you must to. Rest if you must. You have to. And she said, rest, but don't give up. No. Mm -hmm. Don't give up. Yes, Sometimes you got to take a step back mm -hmm. to realize where you're going so you can get up with company. Yes, indeed. You know, as they say, stay in your own lane. Mm -hmm. When I get in my car, mm -hmm. I know who's in my car. I know that friend is either... Mm -hmm. Either you're riding with me, mm -hmm. you're riding for me, or you're gonna help me. So oh, are you against? Are you gonna? Or you're against me? <laughs> so guess what? You're against me. The first rest stop, I'm pulling over, and you're out. Ah! And I'm still pursuing on my journey. Yes, indeed. When you're on somebody else's journey, when you're the passenger, recognize that you're either there to help them, motivate them, or show them. Mm -hmm. If they don't recognize your talent, guess what? You're not the right one for me, and you keep on your journey. Yeah, that's where that um, that you're here for a reason, a season, and or a lifetime. Kicks now, the, what, what's the reason? Oh, yeah, what, what's the purpose why you're here? Why, you why here? are you here in my life? You okay, here? are you here to motivate me? You're here to help me, inspire, you yes. know, we're help one another? Or are you here to try to just hate? Like, hey, what's going on? Be nosy. Um, you know what I'm saying? And the season, well, um, you know, you, you in and out, you here for a purpose. Okay, now it's time for you to go. Yes. Now, the lifetime, those people, they there, down with you regardless, you know, and so on. They just going, they just there, you know, like, they got your back. Okay, just let me yes. know what you need, blah, 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 blah. You know, keep it moving on. Yeah, that that's what we got. <laughs> it, it definitely kicked expectation out the back door. Put that in your rearview mirror. Yes. Because the expectations and the things you have for others when they don't meet it. Put it in your rearview mirror. Yeah. Do you, do you know why the windshield in front is so no, big? No, I know. Put it so you can ever, you know, sometimes look back. You look in that rearview mirror. Why the hell am I looking so back? Sometimes you have to look back. Well, you have to see what's behind you for a moment. Now, exactly. Now, the reason why I say that. <laughs> I went home to North Carolina, which mm -hmm. I went to high school and college with for the Summer Breeze Showcase. Mm -hmm. I found out that there was a lot of people who I expected to come didn't come. Mm -hmm. People who I didn't expect did come. Mm -hmm. And everybody's support is different. Mm -hmm. But I was still there to show that it's not where you're from, it's where you at. But mm -hmm. I came back to show 
when you're out here being business, things take time. I ain't gonna say money, it takes time. If I'm willing to take out my time or my busy schedule to come back to show my love and support for y'all, I'm sure I'm saying thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you for helping me become the person who I am. Yeah. And it's not the people, it's the city. Mm -hmm. It's because if I say it was the city, then I'm blaming everybody else in there. Yeah. There's different levels of people mm -hmm. following you and messing with you. Yes. And they're the ones who are going to encourage you to keep doing what you're doing. Yes. Indeed. That's it. That's it. Yes, indeed. So, again, you know, that little, that's why it's so small, mind you. Yes. You're going to take just to make sure you, when you back up a little in the park and you parallel park or whatever you got to do, you know, you're there for that moment. It's not too, you can't s stay there. Because then you're going to run into a, a brick wall or something in front of you. So, you know, again, and those side view mirrors, you know, so on. All of that's for a purpose, for a moment. It's not to um, to stay there. It's like you, you don't want to stay, you know, content with what you're doing. You want to be stagnant. You. Don't be stagnant. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you have to leave where you at. To go somewhere else to understand who you are and what you you know. Well, that's just like at. what do you think? Like I mean, I don't know. It brings to mind where you have um, okay, you know, you get you got what you got, boom boom boom, and some people just want to stay in the same neighborhood. That's cool and that's fine. No, that's no, fine. no, it's not. Listen, that's fine. Look, we have heard already many times. You done made, you know, you done made it, and you want to stay in the same neighborhood, but you got haters, and then you and then you wind up dead because they're jealous. But no, you leave, go do what you accomplish, what you got accomplished, and like you did, you went back there to celebrate and let them know, okay, and you want to help that where wherever you came from. And then you get the hell out of there. What but, the hell am I staying there for? That's no, the purpose of me leaving. Sometimes you go back to understand. No, you, no, that's that no, review no, mirror. No, that's for a moment. I'm going to drop it down to a little bit. Sometimes when you feel like when you move somewhere else, you go somewhere else and you're establishing what you're doing, sometimes you really have to go back because you might not be at a place where you think you're at. Sometimes you go back home in the area you see to see the same people doing the same things, talking the same way. They'd be like, you know what? I'm okay. I'm, I'm at where I'm at, but I don't see where I'm at. Let me tell you something. Let's be re realistic. That here. is realistic. I'd be damned if I go back to Brownsville, okay? So now, you don't go back home? You don't go back home? Yeah, for a moment. Okay. For a moment, but so, I'm not staying there. In that <laughs> moment, in, 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 in that moment, what are you recognizing? What are you feeling in, in, in that time? That how, how grateful I am that I got the hell out. <laughs> and that's the point. <laughs> but you also want to go back home to realize, you know what? Yes. I'm okay. I'm all right. And yes. sometimes I have to go back there to show the older people I remember him. Yes, it Damn, is. Damn, he's doing his thing. Yes, and yes. I agree with them. you, but I'm not talking about stay there. No, no I'm never saying stay. But that's what I'm talking oh, no, about. I ain't staying. Stay. I ain't staying. That's stay. what I'm referring to. Stay, those stay. that end up getting dead because they stayed there. And those are the people that lost. We always say winning and what? Winning and learning. If you winning, lost, winning, that means not, you gave up. Not losing. It's winning and learning. If you mm -hmm. loser, you lost. You gave up. You're doing yes, anything. Indeed. Those are the ones who's not doing nothing for their life. There's such thing as winning, like Boston. No. Boston ain't lost. They no. just learn on how to be champions because you win against champions. Yes, indeed. You feel what I'm saying? You I have know. to learn to be the, to to elevate. You lose when you give up. Once you give up, that's when you lost. If you stop learning, you have lost. Facts. Okay. Facts. Period. Facts. But anyway, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna we're not losing, but we are going to be taking a break here on applying pressure. We'll be, be right back, back with our guest <laughs> Gary GQ. Yes. You already know true. what it is, man. My man LF never slipped. You the hell is it? Whoever thought I had my back against the wall like this Try to sneak, try to kill me, take it all like this Thank God I'm still alive, couldn't fall like this On the ground, my racing while I crawl like this Could've been me, could've been me Screaming, God, please don't take me out like this Got my youngers out and gritty, ready to war about this Fair no man, I was brought out like this I ain't none of these niggas, I ain't telling shit What's done, I gotta be told, I move around like this No more six shots, hundred rounds and clips Lemonade bum bitches and get filthy rich. I swear I can't leave without it on me. A couple two from three, so won't run along me. It was hard to sleep, I couldn't eat for weed. It was a robbery, that bitch turned on me. Any nigga around me, turn them into bosses. 
trying to win, I swear I'm trying to take a loss. Do it for my hood like Nip did for Slauson. When you hustle all day, get exhausted. I just left Miami with J Prince on mob shit. Niggas looking, bitches staring, don't be obvious. My brother Fatty is blessed, survive a car flip. Whenever nigga was down, see, I could call him. Ain't too many around here like that. If you real like that, when you down to your last, they don't care like that. Keep a strap with an extra clip. I tell my mama, no more worries, I'm your extra safe. There's no more stressing, no more. I gotta stay on pause. I double look my shoulders. I swear I ain't gone. Swear to God, it won't never catch me slip again. I'm still alive, thank God for a second chance. Swear to God, it won't ever catch me slip again. Put my pants up, don't ever leave my grip again. I heard the enemies watching for my Instagram. Oh, oh, I can never put my trust in a bitch again. Yeah, yeah. Whole time I had a feeling that was awkward. Try to go on cop a pistol for the ops and shit. God, pop, homie, came from behind the shit. In the hospital, tools on my nostril shit. See, I ain't eat for 10 days, shit was struggling. Baby mama came through just to tuck me in. Like a nigga on his deathbed, give me strength. For some reason, her vibe couldn't comprehend. Going through a nigga phone when I can't move. Instead of help me, rather fight me if it's up to you. This ain't the time to try to tell me what I put you through. When I get a little better, I'ma let you lose. My father wasn't always there, but. He came through. My mama always here for me. Yeah, that's my angel. Gotta acknowledge this shit. See, I was born to win. Shout out to Jess and shit. I can't forget you, kid. A couple of my family members ain't calling, check me then. But I ain't stressing them, cause God bless me. Yeah, it's on, 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 on. Chopping in the bins. On, 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 on. Ain't no playing fair. On, 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 on. They got me on my service. No, on, Swear to God, it won't never catch me slip again. I'm still alive, thank God for a second chance Swear to God, they won't ever catch me slip again Put my pants up, don't ever leave my grip again I heard the enemies watching for my Instagram oh, oh, I can never put my trust in a bitch again Alright, yeah. Yeah. alright, alright Welcome back. <laughs> yes, guys, welcome back to Applying Pressure. I am your lady being beautiful, me, Andreetta, with your host. Fly snap joke. Yeah, right. She wants to sell all that old pretty stuff. I got the, the fly snap. guy snap. Oh Lord have mercy. Hey, hey. <laughs> and um, of course, right now, guys, look, today is our Father's Day. Yes. And again, we like to say happy Father's Day for those that are being the real fathers. You feel real fathers, the real men out there, definitely. Guidance. And of course, you see this extra body that's in between us. He needs to come forward because he looks small. Uh -oh. Right now, okay. So, because <laughs> you know, it's all, anyway. Look, guys, I like to introduce you to this man. I had to write this down just for a moment because I want to make sure I say it right. Boom, boom, boom. Now, this uh, this gentleman right here, is, well, he wrote a book, and this book is based in uh, in the seventies and eighties in the drug war in the United States, uh, based for based on four young men. Okay, from the mean streets of Brooklyn. Okay, oh, okay shut up. now <laughs> from the hustling, from from hustling um, the streets, the street corners to the uh, controlling multi-million dollar drug empire. Now this is a breathtaking. I tell you, it's a in breathtaking suspense thriller book. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce you to Mr. Gary R. Wedderburn. What up, what up, what up, what up? The father, the physical fitness, he's all that, man. Yes, indeed. Isn't he handsome, ladies? Isn't he handsome as well? We want to make sure we bring that in as well. Now, tell us, now, look, Gary, how are you doing today? I'm good, thank are you. Are you a dad? Yes, I am. Okay. Two, two children. Okay, yeah, how old? Girl. Eight. One about, my daughter's about to be 18. And my son is eight. Ooh, you waited that. that. Okay. She Can't you see? You okay. see this gorgeous? Is, don't you see this is cream? Akbar, how pretty he is. Oh, this is God. pretty boy. He got some good kids. He got some pretty kids, man. He, 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 he's a handsome guy. Handsome okay, listen, guys. Now tell us here. Now welcome to Applying Pressure, and tell our our people, you know, about the this book. breathtaking breathtaking <laughs> book, which is Street Dreams. Street Dreams, baby. The beginning. The beginning. Um. 
I grew up around a lot of dudes that hustled. I had family members that hustled. I was one of those persons that just never got into that line of uh, business. Okay. I always try to go the other way, make money legit, that kind of thing. But um, I seen how drugs, you know what I mean, make people rich and also rip people apart. Mm -hmm. and, you know, stab yes. each other yes. in the back. Um, people go to prison. You know, mm -hmm. fathers lose their uh, fathers. They fathers lose their kids, uh, their fathers, and yes. that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. It's not a book about glorifying no. drugs and nothing like yes. that. Yes, no. If you do read the book, and you read the book, you're gonna see how it destroys lives. Yes. Well, I have to say that uh, when you say destroying lives, and <laughs> now here, the, based on the four young men from the mean streets of Brooklyn, what part of Brooklyn you were talking about? Because all of Brooklyn. I mean, I'm I'm a girl yeah, from Brooklyn. Style, yeah. I'm a girl from Fact. Brooklyn. Brownsville never oh. ran, never will. Understand? Best style. Who so would die? You know what I mean? That I, I actually seen in the 70s and 80s yeah, yeah. how it did destroy our men, especially. I mean, people that, I mean, I see all the time, and all of a sudden, they like, like you know, they zombies. looking like the zombies. zombies and it was men, King Kings at and, one time, but not these zombies. And men that I looked up to were now looking up to us. drug and look up addicts to look up to us now. and died. Mm -hmm. And that was, I, I, I still can't forget that. So tell me. You, did you put a little bit of something like that in there, too? Yeah. Um, like, I have family members. Like, I, I took it back to the 80s because I have family members that I would be like, like, literally, like, yo, G, 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 writing about me. This is about me. Like, wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that was everybody. So many similarities. You know, a lot of people. But I, I, I read the book, and there was some, you know, there's parts in there where I smoked some stuff, and that's just how I did it. But like, there was a lot of people. Yeah. There was a lot of people yeah. like that. Mm -hmm. um, I, I find it, I mean, at the tender age, like 10 and 11 and 12 and things like that, that, that was alarming for me. Yeah, what, what, what made you, at that time, you know, write a book about that? And not write a book about you know your your life. I mean, just write a book. Period. Yes. Most people come out of New York. People don't really write books. You feel what I'm saying? We might rap, might sing. You feel what I'm saying? Oh but God! Write a book. Write a book. Like you feel what I'm saying? Especially <laughs> 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 from the drug end. Ain't no drug end. I'm writing a book. Come on. I've always been the guy to go left when everybody else go right. You know I like that. I mean? Yes, I indeed. Go right. oh, let me go left. You know what I mean? Yes, I do. I even do that when driving home. Like, there's a there's a shorter way to go home. Sometimes I feel like taking a long, long way. way home. Hey, I'm the hey. same way. I'm the same way. So, um, that's just me. And um, like when I first, I'm Jamaican. So when I first, that was what I about to ask because I hear the accent. Man. <laughs> I was like, are you Jamaican? Like, well, what's what's your accent? Go ahead, move on. When I first came to this uh, country, um, I had an uncle who fled Jamaica to come to the U.S. Um, he was being hunted by. You know, people want to kill him, police. Yeah. Yes. That's Jamaica Jamaica. for you. <laughs> he came here within a short span of time, like five years. He was a millionaire. I went to his house. I remember being a kid going to his house mm -hmm. um, in Long Island. Mm -hmm. And this man had a fish tank that's some people's bedroom mm. size. You know what I, I remember. Mean? I seen and, a couple of those back in the days. Yes. He had yes. a thing for Rolls Royces before people, you know. Knew got, what they were. Yeah, yeah. Got pop Rolls Royces got popular. Mm -hmm. but, yes. That's my favorite car. he took care of a lot of people. Um... <laughs> The sad part of it is yes. he, his best friend in Jamaica, um, his best friend in Jamaica passed away. Mm -hmm. So my uncle paid for a woman to marry his, um, his best friend's son and brought him here. Mm. I had brothers who were jealous of this kid because my uncle just gave him whatever he wanted. You want to go to school? But he helped out. He helped. Mm -hmm. The story is kind of messed up yeah. because <laughs> yeah. gave this guy, this kid was literally 21 years old with driving a Porsche. You know what I mean? Living in a, 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 a nice apartment and everything. Right. People were Everything was given to him. Right, right. And I don't know really how the story really goes. Like, I hear cousins, uncles say one thing. But long story short, the same kid he paid to bring here who was running around in Jamaica with no shoes on, mm -hmm. got a whole different life, came here and murdered my uncle. Wow. So... Mm. And that's, and that's, that's I'm life. so sorry. That's the street life. I'm sorry about that. But so, is is there a, a movie after this? Or I know that we, we talked, and there's, there's, I know it's a sequel to the book. Yeah. But should make sure it's like go out there and cop the street dreams first one before you even get the two because I know it's a series, right? Yeah. Correct. Mm, yes, it is a series. Yes, so it I'm is. I'm working on part two. Should have been done already, but uh, hopefully by the end of summer it'll be out. Is that what inspired you to write this book? I just want. Like, 
I seen so many people's lives get dead. Like, there's so many ways of making money now. You yes. Know what I mean? um, but where we come from, we always think it's drugs is the only way it's going to give us most yeah. of our people from all. If you don't play basketball or, you know what I mean, or football mm -hmm. or baseball or something, mm -hmm. it's got to be drugs. And it don't really have to be. Correct. I mean, no, it doesn't. There's so many lanes of making money now, it's not even funny. Okay. You just got to find one and stick to it. So, again, is that what inspired you to write the book about your, is your uncle? Family, period. Family, period. Okay. All right, then. Well, um... Oh, we're going to go on to a break, and I just want to say, see, all Jamaicans don't have dreads and dark skin. No, they don't. Saying, no. So that you know that we <laughs> out here, man. All light skin and dreads. All light skin. We're going to go to my man, Meech Meech, for um, So High, man. You already know applying pressure. Thank you. Say if you are who you say you are A superstar Then have no fear If I extended my hand And I asked you to dance Would you say cool and I say perfect Get to acting like you want it girl And I'll be at your service Like a deacon or a urchin Shit I promise not to hurt you Shit, shit I put you in better things Have fun while we coexist They don't do it right Hey, little mama, pitch it is. I'm out to make everlasting memories. Mommy, let's take a trip. She say, what I gotta bring? I say, baby, don't even trip. I get your raspberry, pink dolphin, strawberry. Gucci made for sleep, walking the view fairy. Around every corner, Mona Lisa, art stationary. I'm a visionary, glancing at what my vision tell me. You the shit, mama, in case you ain't smell something. Loud on a nigga like somebody yells something. I'm buying if you selling something. But send a message to the sky if you're mailing something. Because, oh, I'm one hell of a guy. And we can sell this bro, you and I. Girl, like it's so high, we might blow over a sky. Until the weekend, we won't come back until July. Girl, like it's so high. You and I, no, 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 no. Way it's supposed to be. I say I get so high. You and I, no, 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 no. Still do it like I'm supposed to. He gon' push you in coach. I put you behind the cockpit, mommy. Just let me coach. I never mean to expose you. I do this shit for the coach. If not, I wouldn't have approached you. I understand the way my living different. He gon' put you in the kitchen. I'ma put you in position. Cause that's the way the Supreme's supposed to be. At least to me, shit. I get it out the mud. You get the cleanest seats. Vibes got laid back so the stars can see. You in the perfect movie and it's co starring me. Only nigga to play the part is me. Fuck around, play hide, go seek You hide, I seek All I find, I keep This could be our little secret Long as you wanna keep it, dig And you be back to relax when the peak hit And see your ass home when the sleep mix go Oh, I'm one hell of a guy And we can sell this bro, you and I Girl, I get so high We might blow over a sky Until the weekend, we won't come back until July Girl, I get so high You and I, no, 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 no Way it's supposed to be I say I get so high, you and I, no, 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 no. Well, welcome back to Applying Pressure. I'm your lady being beautiful. Me with your host. The, ha the handsome snack. Okay, then. And with our uh, special guest, Mr. Gary R. Wedderburn. And he has here uh, the book that we want to watch. Uh, well, it was coming into a movie. They're, they're talking about that. As well as you want to read the book. People, uh, I know our people can read. So I need you to read it. We'll okay. Find book. And the book is called oh, Street... Uh... The book is called Street Dreams, The Street Beginning, Dreams and you can page. find the book on Amazon. For how much on Kindle? Uh, four ninety nine on Kindle, ten ninety nine on Amazon. And For a paperback. Yeah. Okay. So that's what we have there, guys. <laughs> this is why we here just jumping. Okay. Look, paperback. let me tell you. Now um, I asked him. Now I want you guys to go ahead, and you need to get the book "Street Dreams: The Beginning" on Amazon. Okay, it's worth it. Please do. We have a caller on the line. That's what I do. Hey, caller, welcome to Applying Pressure. What is your name, and where are you calling from? Hey, welcome to Applying Pressure, um, caller. Um, what's your name, and where are you calling from? 
I'm sorry, you have to speak up, sweetheart, because we can't hear you. Giselle. How you Giselle. doing, Giselle? Where are you calling from? Massachusetts. Massachusetts. Oh, Massachusetts. Massachusetts. Boston in the house. I see y'all, baby Boston Celtics. House. You have a question for our guests? Yes, Mr. Gary. Um, in your book, do you um, talk about the Jamaican culture? No, not really. Not at all. Oh, like, do you use, like, the open, like, if you were going to do a... Like a like Netflix series, would you ever think about using like the wording in it, like for the Brooklyn accent, accent and like the wording and the culture too in Brooklyn? Will it be shown? Yeah, it, 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 it definitely it's definitely it's definitely like um as the book starts off, it's really like a, a New York, you know, the New York slang, you know, all that good stuff in the beginning. As they get old, as they progress and they get older, they're more you know, manly, and um, you know, they you see the as you read, you see the growth in them. Yes, very okay. Good. I'm going to purchase the book. I really look forward to reading it. And do you have um, autograph copies already done? Um, no, but if I. Um if I, Ladies, we're gonna get that book autograph. Go ahead and get that book, man. Send it to him. We're gonna work that out. We're gonna work that out, baby. We're gonna work it out. We're gonna work it out. We're gonna get that book signed for you, Shorty. Thank Massachusetts, you, Carla. Massachusetts, we got you. We got you. We got you. We got you. <laughs> we got you. We got you. <laughs> okay. Well, um, now tell us. Now I know some ladies. You know, he just told me that he was single, guys. I so, never um, said that. okay. Now he's sing he's single. He's dating, no, but he's I, single. I have, I have no, singles when you know this is a debate. Single is you're single. You're not married. Okay. You're dating. Okay. You your taxes, you you're put. still dating. It's called single. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much. It you're is, seeing it, someone, but you're single. Yes, you're still single. <laughs> and when you walk, <laughs> you didn't walk down nobody's aisle. I can't get shot. You are single, okay? As far as I'm concerned. Thank you so much, Snap, for saying that. You, you file your taxes. No, I'm you ain't. I'm, I'm you're not putting down I'm dating. Later. You I'm putting down later. dating? <laughs> I'm seeing someone. No, you single. <laughs> Single, married, di separated, divorce. Oh well. Anyway, so you got two kids and everything like that. You know, so he's he's dating, so he's basically still free, guys, and um, and all that good stuff. So, can I say your age? Yeah, sure. Oh, he's forty-four years old, guys. Oh, he look like he's like thirty. I promise you. Maybe we age well up north, man. Yes, we, we do. Age yes, well we do. North, okay, man. yes, I do. Okay, listen. So anyway, what's your next um project, uh, project journey? What's going on? I'm working on part two. I'm also pitching um, the beginning to um, to movie, you know, as a movie. And who are you pitching it to? Any ideas? Um, I yeah. send it to a couple of places. I've got okay two people. A couple um, of networks. Hopefully, I'm praying on it. You know what I mean? Um, you got any actors like it? It, it, ain't, it ain't even about no money. Nothing. What is? You got any actors? You got any actors yeah, involved? Yeah, it's always about the damn money. Hey, Bottom line mean? is the money. We hear you know what I mean? We hear. Bottom baby. line is the money. That's what it is. <laughs> you you say that. that. Second one would be about the money. <laughs> <laughs> Forgot. First hustle is about the growth. <laughs> yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Okay, so we're doing that. Okay, so what else we got going on? Um. You know, little other little event. I don't like really talking about all the stuff. No, you know, not well yeah. something, but you know, you, know, you don't gotta give us details. We, we, we just gonna give us something that you know look forward to. Yeah, we, well, they're gonna look out for you on the show. I'm telling you, they're gonna um, look for you now. Part two of the book hopefully will be done before summer. Okay. Okay. Get that done before summer. Before That's summer. Um, next week. Shit, you know the summer is? It's before hot end, now, dog. This is summer before now. Before the end of the summer. Oh, in the summer. Before, <laughs> before fall, guys. Because this whole week been summer. Some of you been there. I'm sitting on a beach somewhere, you know, okay. drinking some mojitos or something. Okay. I'm get it done. That's my man. Okay, he's going to be swinging while he's walking the beach as well, guys. Okay, look. <laughs> Do we have another break coming up? After, no, 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 no. after this week, we're going to be we probably going to yeah, we're going to one more break. Then we're going to go on out, take on out to our people's. Um, our, this one's from my man D Brothers from up north, 305 Entertainment, man. I see y'all out there working, man. Love y'all. You're doing this prime pressure. Freestyle, anything, thing. I think I'm a jig that y'all be doing this shit. Ah. Uh. Gooey belt showing cause the pants sagging In the kitchen whipping and cooking up a Benz wagon I'm in hammer stretching, Mr. Fantastic This fly nigga got the glow like the last drag Scan half for 40 minutes and got lazy now She try to fuck, I had to chuck noise kick her out Burn her phone, jumping, couldn't dig her down Started popping, heard that coke is coming with a smile That's wax on, wax off Rinse doing licks coming, I won't miss those calls the package and I get that drip from my walk. Wow. Got that good burger stand with the good max sauce. 
Got me stuffed in the nose, the boogie's blurry wow. Trey good from anywhere on the court, see Steph Curry KD and Clay in the corner, don't get nervous I still got a stack on the Warriors, I ain't worried yeah. These niggas full of red in line when I show up I'm still the show gunner, the black like show nuff If we beefing over the chicken, you cold cut You get shredded for that lettuce, stop acting all full tough fuck. Nike Tech fleece for the dope seller I think I'm Dave East, no Coachella If we talking turkey, I need gravy with it I think I'm Bumpy Johnson on Thanksgiving And me and half been at it for days The score two is coming, get the fuck out the way You niggas know what it is, and niggas know what it ain't You can say what you want, they all know my name is Weathers Well that shit got a ring, don't it? Bonnie Bang on BET, it's time to ring, Tony and everything is clicking over here, dawg How y'all ain't catch up? I took a year off My bitch is bitchin', niggas bitchin', what's the difference? You pussy niggas all up in your feelings <laughs> My nigga, I don't get it Even my R&B shit, I be killin' Stop backin' like a hoe in the wankster Final score keep puttin' on, you should thank us Stop backin' like some hoes, some wanksters Final score keep puttin' on, you should thank us Keep it a hundred, a hundred is all I know Talking like they about it, but all that shit for the show Gooey all on my hip, keep that 40 under my clothes Fuck a shooter, I pull it whenever they gotta go They say Peter be the piper, Dre be the sniper One eye open and that's an LSU tiger Spitting more fire than a pothead's lighter Balls on top of balls I'm feeling like a life of fly die This the reason why I'm at it again Line for line, man These niggas couldn't spar with my pen Fake niggas and bitches acting like Barbie and Ken Before the makeup, I promise all my bitches are tense Still in the hood, spilling 40 for the niggas I kill Your weathers, they feeling hurt I think they need some milk I keep it on me Why you think I gotta walk with a limp? Keep a Cuban for the dope That's all gold on my link my bitch is bitchin', niggas bitchin', what's the difference? What's the difference? You pussy niggas all up in your feelings <laughs> My nigga, I don't get it, don't get it. Even my r be shit, I be killin' Stop acting like some hoes and some wangstars Find those cookie puttin' on, that shit thank us Stop acting like some hoes and some wangstars Find those cookie puttin' on, that shit thank us That's a bitch, why, by the way? Okay all right, All right. <laughs> welcome, welcome back to Applying Pressure. I'm your lady being beautiful, me, and this is Snap over here, along with Gary R. Wedderburn for his book. Okay, basically, Street Dreams or Made Up Things. Not, yeah, Street Dreams. Street Dreams, the beginning. Okay, oh, I'm just saying, just say the whole thing. No, when I hear Street Dreams, it just made me a Nas because you know I'm from New York. So yeah, street dreams, made up things. Niggas push beamers in 300 E's. See, you know what I'm talking about. Bong. See, she. See that? You see what engineer did? He gave me the the funk flex bomb. Bomb. Okay, but speaking, okay, <laughs> and articulating to make sure that this man's book is heard yes. the correct way. Yes. It is Street Dreams, the beginning. The beginning. Okay, guys, look, we got him in some a little bit of trouble over here because he's not. Love you, E. He's dating or whatever it is. He, he's with somebody. Anyway, he did say that. He said, no, I'm dating. I love you, E. I'm not single, but we like, no, what you feel like your taxes, like Snap said. <laughs> it says single. It says single, but Okay. <laughs> Nothing personal. We understand. Look, you got to be in the biz to understand that. Look, anyway, moving on. Look. Where can I catch you? Yes. You want to get find you. Where can I find you at? In your book, in someone. Oh Lord! Amazon. Um, it's on Amazon. <laughs> yeah, Instagram. What's your Instagram? Instagram? What's your Instagram? Instagram? All that stuff. Um, what is it? Um, Gary GQ. Water mercy. We gotta mess up. He can't even focus on the interview now. You know what I mean? He can't even focus on the interview. He messed up. Yo, E, you see what she done did? Where Ooh, is Where can he find you on Instagram? The real Pandora. The real. The real Pandora yeah. underscore. Yes. Is that where they can find you? Yes. Ma'am. Okay. And uh, anywhere else they can find you? Um, Facebook. Um, regular name. What Gary is it? R. Weatherburn. Gary R. Weather Weatherburn. With GQ in the middle. 
You know oh, what I mean? Lord have mercy. Look, she, guys, she go ahead and go to Amazon. The book is for um on Kindle for four dollars and ninety nine cents. That's right. The paperback is ten dollars and ninety nine cents. Please go to Amazon and get Street Dreams: The Beginning. I am your lady, being beautiful, me, and you can also find me at AndreaTheGons.com as well as AndreaTheGons on Instagram. Yes, indeed. And um, looking up, uh, you know, Journey to Fabulous. Yeah. Because- and make sure you all join us next week when we have our guest, the reelected mayor of Newburgh, New York, yes. Torrance Harvey, will be joining us. Yeah. Like I said, man, the re-elected New York mayor. Yes, we having a mayor on here. So I love a politician. man of color. A man of color yes, out indeed. here doing it. Yes, this is indeed. what we do. Yes, Listen, <laughs> when the world is bearing on your back, sit back and take a rest. Rest up. Don't give up. And also, change the way you think, because you can change your world. You already know what it is. Until next week, same place, same time, different topics. Every Sunday, 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. Here on the Status Network. Kings and queens, now give it up to the snap judgment team.